Army liberates four more towns update on the war of Russia and Ukraine on November 5th. In the Kharkiv region, the enemy suffered significant losses and had to withdraw to the Belgorod region of Russia yesterday. Units of the Self-Defense Forces of Ukraine liberated the settlements Cherkasky Tyshky, Ruski Tyshky, Robizn and Bayrak. The enemy increased the tempo of strategic offensive operations in the eastern combat zone, opened fire along the entire line of communication and into the depth of our defense. The largest operation of the occupiers was achieved. Observed in the Slobozansky and Donetsk directions. In the direction of Volyn and Polisia, the enemy is not active. There was a movement of military equipment of the armed forces of the Republic of Belarus as part of the combat readiness test and completed the rotation of individual units engaged in strengthening border protection. Ukraine-Belarusian border in the Brest and Gomel regions. In the direction of Siversky, the enemy continued to guard the Ukraine-Russia border in the Bryansk and Kursk regions, and fired mortars at the border area near Karpovichy and Senkivka in the Chernihiv region. The enemy did not conduct active offensive operations in the Slobozansky direction. The invaders regrouped their units, equipped advanced positions, fortified the air defense system, strengthened the medical support system. To strengthen the army and prevent the advance of Ukrainian units, the invaders mobilized up to 500 people mobilized from the temporarily occupied territory of the Donetsk and Luhansk regions. In addition, in the direction of Izium, the enemy continued to create favorable conditions for the attack, supplementing ammunition and logistics, equipping advanced positions, and increasing air reconnaissance. Unsuccessful attempts to establish control over Rubizm continued to be made in the direction of Severodonetsk. The enemy carried out offensive operations in the settlements of Nizhny, Tashkivka, Orokov, Luhansk region, but without success. The enemy also tried to gain a foothold in the Oleksandrivka area, attacked the Shandriholov area, Donetsk region, but continued to fail. In the direction of Donetsk, the occupiers tried to attack in the direction of the town of Marinka, the settlements of Kamyanka, the Yasinovita and Novomikhailivka districts, the Pokrovsky district, the Donetsk region. Their efforts continued to be defeated by the elite Ukrainian defense forces and suffered huge losses. The enemy was largely annihilated both in terms of people and combat vehicles on the territory of Ukraine. Units of the 138th Mechanized Brigade of the 6th Combined Armed Corps of the Western Military District were withdrawn from Ukraine to the Russian region of Belgorod due to significant losses in the Kharkiv region. The Russian army received a crushing defeat on all fronts in Ukraine yesterday. Bed-like after the celebration of the day of the national victory of Russia will be the day of the defeat of the nation for Putin. As a result of the coordinated actions of the Ukrainian self-defense forces in the Kharkiv region, the settlements of Cherkasky Tyshky, Ruski Tyshky, Robizn and Bayrak were liberated, after the enemy troops there surrendered and retreated to the country.